I am supposed to be doing a one minute tutorial for today's video, but I couldn't come up with a decent idea, so I'm improvising. This video is a news edition. Let's get up to date with what's been happening in the world of applications. A new in-app purchase, a notability for new users. Notshelf 2 has been busy spreading its tentacles across different platforms, and Zoom Notes is still adding new features. That's all coming up in this news edition. Hello and welcome to Paperless X, where we are all about the paperless life. My name is Ropsy and I'm your host. Do I have to say hostess? You know, being a woman and all, is that important? Happy New Year everyone. Super excited. Which is why in this video, I'm a bit of a chatterbox. On Wednesday, Notability made some interesting changes to their app pricing, which came into effect on the 1st of January this year, a new in-app purchase. According to an article published on their website on Wednesday, Ginger Labs has decided to offer Notability at a lower price to new users. At the same time, they are making handwriting recognition and search in the application an in-app purchase. They didn't publish any figures on their website, but in my app store, handwriting recognition is now selling for less than $3, and it's a one-time purchase. I don't think $3 in the price would make a difference, but Notability is way more expensive than GoodNotes 5 already, so they probably decided to make this an in-app purchase instead of increasing their price. Handwriting recognition is a must-have for any note-taking application. Everyone will buy it anyway. Even if you don't convert your handwriting to text, the ability to search through your notes, your handwritten notes, is very important. Ginger Labs probably did this in an effort not to scare away new users because at this point, GoodNotes 5 is a more attractive option for much less. And according to the poll we did on this channel, Notability is starting to become a second option for most people. Please note that none of these changes affect old users, which is why Notability remains my favorite application. I'm cheap like that. Fluid Touch Private Limited, the developers bringing you Not Shelf, have been very busy this last month. On December 12, 2019, they announced their Mac version of Not Shelf. On the 23rd of December, they announced Not Shelf on Android smartphones. I really could use a Galaxy Note. And less than 24 hours ago, they announced adding handwriting recognition to the Android mobile devices app. This is great. Now we are waiting for the Windows version. I hope that comes soon. I, for one, wouldn't mind ditching Notability for Notshelf if they had a Windows version. Who else would easily make that switch? Let me know in the comment section down below. Notshelf is doing a great job and I'm curious to see how they're going to sync notes across devices. Let's face it, it's pointless having a multiple cross-platform app that doesn't sync across all of them. Really looking forward to see how they're going to tackle this one. Then last on this week's news edition, <laughs> Actually, let me know if you're interested in this new news edition idea. Should this be something that we should be entertaining and doing a lot more on this channel? Let me know. Zoom Notes remains the most updated note-taking application. Deliverance Software Limited is not releasing small bug fixes. No, they are adding massive updates, but one in particular caught my attention, OCR. You can now find text and images, which is awesome. Last week, they added handwriting recognition for searching and converting your handwriting. Their handwriting recognition is probably the most sophisticated I have seen in any note-taking application, and we'll be diving deeper into that and looking at those updates in future videos. Every month, Zoom Notes has a new groundbreaking feature that they're adding to the application. I just wish they could do more for their interface. Now I just sound ungrateful. That wraps up this news edition. Like this video if you want to see more news on what's happening in the world of applications. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.